Uh, this is video number two for the uh, Algebra 2 Unit 2 review on the evens, and I'm on question 34. Um, it says write the equation in point-slope form that has the following characteristics. So when we're looking at point-slope form, then you don't have to simplify all the way down to y by itself. So just to rewrite point-slope again, So basically, if they say point slope form, you plug into that thing and you're done. So number 34 says m equals a half. Okay. And then it says b equals negative 4. Well, technically, you need a coordinate point to plug in here. But b is a y-intercept, so that translates to the point 0, negative 4. So plugging that in, I'm going to get y minus negative 4. There's my y value equals m times x minus 0. And then I would say y plus 4 equals 1 half x. And I don't need to solve for x here, uh, or solve for y, because it, it wants it in point slope form. 36. Um, same thing here, they're giving me two points. So we have to learn to create our slope here. And we're looking at finding slope first. So 6 minus negative 4, and then negative 2 minus 1. Now the opposites on that, I'm looking at 10 over negative 3. Okay. Now pick a point. Um, you know, neither one looks better than the other. I don't know, I'll pick the smaller numbers, what it looks like, these ones here. And uh, I'm going to say y minus negative 4 equals negative um, 10 thirds times x minus 1. And since they want it in point slope, I'm already done. That's all I got to do right there. 38. Um, write the equation in the standard form. So remember when it comes to standard form, the a, x and y need to be on the same side. The, the coefficient or the a term has to be positive and there can't be any fractions anywhere. So 38 gives me an m and it passes through a point. So I'm going to plug this into point slope form. Okay. So this is what I got. So I'm going to say y minus 8 uh, equals negative 5 thirds all over x minus 6. I'm going to distribute this the slope inside. I'm looking at y equals negative 8, negative 5 thirds x, uh, plus negative and a negative. Um, 30 over 3 is going to give me 10. All right. And now I'll add 8 to both sides. And I'm looking at y equals negative 5 thirds x plus 18. Now this is slope intercept. This is not standard. So um, I'm going to need to clear the fraction. I'm going to wait to do that, though. Okay. So I've got 5 thirds x plus y equals 18. Now I multiply everything by 3 and that will clear the fraction. I'm looking at 5x plus 3y equals 54. There's my standard form. Standard form. Okay. People always forget that this, this term cannot be negative. Okay. Question 40. It says, Determine whether the given ordered pair is a solution of the inequality. So that's simple. If you ever given an equation or an inequality and a point, they want you to check it. Plug it in and see what happens. So we're going to plug these in. So negative 1, negative 4. So that's going to turn into 3. Say, so is 3 less than 4? And that is, yes, it is. 
so that is a solution. Forty two wants us to graph, and it gives us this inequality. Well, I'm going to solve for y, so I can use y because mx plus b, or the inequality equivalent. So this has a y-intercept of 3, and it goes down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1. There's no line on here, so this is a dashed line. Okay. I'll try to scoot this up a little bit. It's a dashed line. Then I go to the y-intercept and say, are the y's bigger or smaller, and the y's are bigger, so I'm going to shade everything above here. You have to shade when it comes to graphing inequalities. There's no shading with equal signs, just inequalities. Um, 44. They want us to graph y is less than or equal to 3. So I'll come and graph right here. There's my xy coordinate plane. Um, so we're going to cross at y equals 3. This is a solid line because it's or equal to. And then it says that the y's are less than, so you're going to shade everywhere below. 